Good morning, Twitch. Good morning, Twitch. Good morning, Twitch. Good morning, and welcome to the broadcast on this 02.18.2022. Current time is 05.31 a.m. And good morning, Tina. Good morning. Welcome to the broadcast. We are getting our day started here on this Friday. Thank God it's Friday. That's a little bit too much light there. Oh, how are we all doing? Yes, I got the earbuds in here so I can listen. Uh, I, I, I with the I think my other earbuds are in the other room, uh, out in the living room there and stuff. I forgot to bring them in. Good morning, Tina. And yes, we do have the morning coffee. Yes, there it is. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh, we got three. How are we all doing out there? We're just getting today started here, getting up, making sure everything is. Uh, you no, know, we're moving in forward, in the, <laughs> moving in the right direction there, and. Um, and uh, yeah, that is good. That is good, Tina. And actually, Tina, you're the first one in here this morning. So thank you for being here. We did not broadcast yesterday. We had an Anchor Morning Audio we placed over there on anchor.fm. And um, um, as far as that goes, and uh, uh, we are broadcasting today. I almost didn't feel like broadcasting this morning. <laughs> I figured, well, let me take the extra 15 minutes to um, sleep in, but I'm, I'm, I'm up and it, it, you got to push through that. Positive start today. Part of my positive start to the day is, is um, uh, doing the, uh, the broadcast here. And um, um, uh, I did wake, wake up. Uh, I went to bed right after dinner, pretty much. I was trying to watch a show. And um, I ended up sleeping then um, on the couch there, and then woke up and went to bed afterwards. But then every time I do that, I wake up at one o'clock or so, and because uh, I what was that? Yeah, I went. Yeah, was it after six o'clock? Was it the the latest episode of Discovery dropped, and I slept through this about halfway through it, and. Um, so I'm sleeping there on the couch, and I wake up, and it's about, I wake up about around 9.30, and uh, um, a little after there, and the, the, the missus is reading a book on the love seat, and then um, I just said, I'm going to bed, and she said, yeah, you better, <laughs> it's just tired, I got too much fresh air, it was beautiful weather last night, beautiful weather, as far as that goes, um, uh, we were up in the 50s yesterday, um, and, and I went to bed at 10, uh, 9 30 9 9 30 and then i woke up again at one and i looked at the temperature it was 56 degrees out last night but currently the temperature is um 29 degrees it dropped down 29 degrees is still compared to the the freezing weather we've had had in the past that's uh that's comfortable i didn't i didn't even wear a jacket at work and we did get some rain and uh let's see uh let's say i go in my room at seven. Oh, oh do you <laughs> okay yes here too uh you, you went to bed early too tina okay <laughs> it's just like i get too much fresh air and i um and, and if i lay on the couch man i'm out i you know where if i sit here in this chair at the computer desk and do some stuff um I'm, i i at least stay up for a couple hours and stuff um, but let's see, we have snow this morning. I don't think that's going to happen. We got, we got some scattered snow showers, lake effect, I think, or remnants from the storm that passed through yesterday. And, uh, but we'll give way to partly cloudy conditions, uh, this afternoon, high of 30 degrees. So we're not getting much higher, uh, winds at the Northwest at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Chance, uh, snow is 90% starting at seven. Oh, I didn't see that. Let me see what the 10 day. And we actually dropped two minutes. The sun will be, the sun rose yesterday at zero seven o'clock. And uh, this morning it will be, I don't see any snow on the 10 day forecast. 
I do see it uh, next Friday. Ooh, they're forecasting five inches next Thursday. Ooh, that should be interesting. What's the temperatures? The temperatures, yeah, they're they're right around there. But we're gonna get fifty. We're gonna get fifty-four, fifty-one, and fifty-eight next Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and then it drops, and we're gonna get some snow possibly. Um, the sun will be rising this morning at zero six fifty-eight. That's in. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, was that right? Yeah, 6.58. So that's in an hour and um, 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes. An hour and 20 minutes. So we, it dropped two minutes from yesterday on, this, on the thing here. So we'll be rising at 06.58 a.m. This, this morning. And we'll be dropping at, uh, we'll be setting at 5.42 p.m. So we pick up a minute there. And uh, I don't know where we're going to get the snow because um, I don't see anything dropping out there as far as white stuff. And uh, let's see, we have high wind. Yeah, I, there was a high winds. Uh, we have a wind advisory. I, I'm, I'm seeing on my uh, weather page here too, Tina. So we've had some high winds uh, come through and uh, the, the motion light on the garage was on all day or all night last night. So... Let's see. Wind advisory remains in effect till 6 p.m. today, Thursday, or, or was from 6 p.m. Thursday until 9 a.m. Friday. So we got it till 9 a.m. Um, but I didn't really hear the wind as much. So southwest winds 15 to 25 miles an hour with gusts of 45 to 50. Uh, in Pennsylvania, Pike, Bradford, Lackawanna, Susquehanna. Uh, Oh, Tioga and Broome here in New York, Sullivan and Shenango. And um, so till 9 a.m., you know, gusty winds and stuff like that. So, uh, but I'm still, I got, well, we got, we got some snow to watch out for for next week there now, as far as that goes. So, uh, but Tina's having high winds down in Jersey. And uh, so that means the whole Northeast is really taking effect on, uh, as far as this goes. Um and and such so um let's see get some coffee here coffee is good yeah i'm glad i'm broadcasting now yeah just i'm, I'm getting back into the swing of the call you get a cup of coffee in and you get you're, you're moving forward you're doing that hashtag positive start to the day hashtag psttd so um we're getting it started and stuff like that um I did when I did wake up at one. I was looking at what what was online and stuff and like that. And I did see our good friend uh, Randy W. Horton, who um, was actually playing PUBG. So I, I watched a little bit of the match. Uh, thank and uh, you know so Randy's playing PUBG again, which is great. So um, I guess he's playing not uh, he's playing unranked. They got this new thing if you if you're ranked and um, depending on your rank of your uh, cohorts, if you're not the same rank, you're not going to be able to play with them. So they played unranked, and that's where I was the last time I played it. Not last weekend, I think it was the week before. And um, uh, another great guy that is on um, Twitch here is Walt Hollick. We like Walt. Walt's great. He'll be broadcasting tomorrow, I'm sure, over there uh, in Ireland. He is a brother firefighter. And um, and the only one I have in the room right now is Tina. Tina, we're going to pop your card there. Tina, she's down there in Jersey. That's her Twitter handle as far as that goes. So, you know, um, And uh, we appreciate her being here as far as that goes, too. So thank you, Tina. I don't know where the other guys are. They, uh, um, I know Jeeves is uh, preoccupied uh, you know, with sort of a... A gut wrenching broadcast Wednesday and stuff, um, um, as far as that goes. So it had me thinking about a lot of things here, as far as uh, uh, the, the the situation he's going through right now and stuff. We've all, I think, all of us have gone through that one one time or the other and stuff like that. Um, um, and it's always heart wrenching to hear about it, stuff like that. And uh, so. Um, and we wish him the best as far as a prayer. Yep, yeah, and uh, me too. I prayed. Yes, we, you know, we wish him, the, him and his family the best, and hope his father. Um, but 
you know, so we'll just have to wait and see. It's a, it's pretty heart wrenching because especially over on the other platform, we had uh, um, a broadcaster who was also here on Twitch, uh, um, uh, Vanita, who um, passed away. Which was it's still, um, it's you know, it, it, it's just you wonder. But that's life, I guess, uh, and stuff. So we can we just have to move forward and try to keep on an even keel and remember them remember Vanita and uh, hopefully that's you know we hope uh, uh, Jesus dead I think I saw a broadcast he was doing an update the other day and uh, they're doing a procedure or something like that so um, um, and it's it's a pretty touchy procedure so we, we hope we hope for the best for your G's as far as that goes um, let's see we do have a thought for the day uh, that I posted up over there on Twitter, and um, if I can get to my Twitter feed here, and uh, I don't know if we're going to have the dinner, well, we can have the dinner report, right, Tina? If Does does Chris have to be here for the dinner report? <laughs> we can have our own dinner report. Uh, we still give Chris a uh, technician, um, he, uh, when we do the dinner report, and uh, the missus is getting up there, that's uh, her getting the... Uh, She's up and about right now, so. What's that? You can tell the noise you want. No, you're all right, you're all right, you're all right. Our thought for the day uh, comes from Florence Nightingale, um, and it goes as follows. I attribute my success to this. I never give or take any excuses. And why should you, right? If you don't give any excuses, you shouldn't take any excuses. I get excuses all the time at the day job. Uh, China, oh, you're already given the dinner report, okay. Um, one more time for our thought for today, it uh, is from Florence Nightingale, uh, I attribute my success to this, I never give, ex give or take excuses. I think I've given my, I, I've given a few excuses, I think, in my lifetime, but, uh, they're good excuses to explain something, but, uh. But you shouldn't take, uh, you shouldn't really give any lame excuses or take excuses to get things done. I like that. Yeah, yeah, it's just, um, um, I don't know, somebody comes up to, what's your excuse? It's like, I don't have an excuse, it just happened, so it's there. I take full responsibility. I guess that's my, my line. If I, if I don't really have an excuse, I take responsible, you know, if I screw up, I screw up. And there's times I have screwed up, so there's no excuse. It's on me, you know? Just accept it, and then you move forward as far as that goes. Daniel, good morning. Daniel, 08800 coming in from um, the Sunshine State of Florida. Thank you for being here. We're just doing the thought for today, and uh, we're going to go into our dinner report, which uh, Tina has already jumped to. Let's see. Uh, Daniel... Chinese spare ribs with fried rice is a good one. Uh, okay, Chinese ribs. Okay, that's what Tina had with fried. She goes fridge rice. <laughs> I think we, we knew what that meant, fried rice. Um, I like fried rice. I, I, I usually get uh, two egg rolls and fri uh, the fried rice. That's usually my favorite. Um, and Chinese spare ribs. That sounds good. <clears throat> and uh, Daniel had an Italian sub. Ooh, I love it. A good Italian when I have an Italian sub, it's at Mario's in Owego, here in Owego, New York. Um, it's Mario's is the best. It just it's uh, family owned and uh, family run, and uh, uh, we appreciate. Uh, we get our pizzas, the, the, the cheese pizzas. Oh my God, it's to die for. Uh, what did we had we had hot dogs last night on the George Foreman Grill, and we I thought we had tater tots, but then you know they looked like tater tots. But there were cauliflower tots. I didn't use ketchup on them. I usually use ketchup on the tater tots, but the cauliflower, they were pretty tasty. I don't think you eat a lot. Oh, we also had, uh, um, uh, we, we've had this jar of pickles in the refrigerator um, since I went shopping with the missus there two weeks ago when I was on my um, time off. They were Nathan's pickles oh my god i had two of them oh my god. well it was actually one pickle because they were they were half pickles a little salty um 
but uh, uh, I enjoyed them. They were good. They were good as far as that goes. So that's what I. Oh, Chris is here. He just makes it in for the. <laughs> make. He just made it in for the dinner report, Chris. So go ahead and give us our dinner report. The dinner report brought to you by Chris Technician, who's made it here. He's running a little late, but that's okay. We're not going to hold it against you. There's no excuses. We're not going to ask for an excuse. We just went over excuses on the thought for the day. There's Chris Technician's Twitter handle, at the Technician 95 And um, uh, what would you have for dinner, Chris? We were doing a dinner report. You came in right on time. The dinner report is a Chris Technician original that we do here on this broadcast. He had spaghetti for dinner. Okay. That's usually our Sunday dinner. And... Uh, and now I want hot dog. Yeah, the hot dog. We're, we're gonna, I think uh, the missus is going to wait, but she said the, the hell with it. We're going to have hot dogs tonight. And that George Foreman grill, man, Any every time she's used it since we got it for Christmas, man, it's a, the food's great on it. The food is great. It tastes a lot better on that, um, on the George Foreman. Let's see. Uh, Daniel, backing up on the thing. Uh, let's see. Good morning, Chris. We're doing your food thing. <laughs> your food thing. The food thing. I like that, Tina. And then Daniel says, I love the traditional New York style hot dog, the sauerkraut and spicy brown mustard. Exactly. And also, Chris going down uh, uh, saying happy Friday, by the way. Yeah, it, it's a good hot dog. Spice. I had the yellow mustard, the, um, but the brown spicy mustard is, is fantastic with sauerkraut. That. That's the way you dress it, um, and uh, the Nathan hot, uh, the Nathan pickle. Oh my God, that was good. <laughs> um, I, I just uh, remember as a kid, one of the uh, uh, my first time I've ever went to Nathan's is when I was a kid uh, visiting grandparents. We went to Coney Island from Brooklyn, um, where they lived, and um, uh, my father uh, he bought me my first uh, Nathan's hot dog. Oh my God, that was good. Oh, they were good. Yeah, they're they're good. Uh, Chris, I was putting up the dishes to, that's what, ah, uh, don't worry about it. No excuses, Chris. Our thought for the day is, uh, I attribute my success to this. I never give or take excuses. So I'm not taking an excuses, Chris. <laughs> so don't give them. No, just, that's from Florence Nightingale. Having a little fun with the thought for the day. Jeeves, good morning. Yes, uh, we hope, all, we were just talking about, uh, we hope all is well, um, and uh, as far as uh, I did see the replay of uh, your update um, from um, uh, on the other platform, as far as that goes. So um, um, I, I know everybody is appreciative of you giving uh, updates as far as that goes and stuff. So um, um, I don't know if, if the procedure, did they do the procedure that you were explaining on the, um, um, on your update there from the other, I think it was yesterday. Or was it was it Wednesday night? Let's see. My dad had surgery yesterday, and he's doing good now. Everything. Is, oh God! Very good. That that's fantastic news. That is very good news. Everything is good. Can you um? You said the uh, um Wednesday's broadcast. Uh, you said it was twenty five hours away. Is your father overseas? As far as that goes, um, or is he in there? Is he there in Canada? And Tina saying my prayers answering, prayers answer Jeeves. Yes. Um, for the people watching on the replay, uh, we have a number of people in the uh, the chat here on Twitch. So I'm I'm reading the comments so you can understand. Uh, you know, I, I like to say the person's name and their comments because they are part of this broadcast. When you just br brush over the broadcast or brush over the comments, some people do that on the other platform. I don't really care for that. It's not good um, as far as that goes. So uh, um, that's good, Jeeves, that, that uh, uh, your father's made it through the surgery and stuff and is doing well. So we hope for a speedy recovery. Uh, he's in uh, Ching. Oh, God, I'm going to butcher the. the it's, I, I got Thailand. Thai okay, so he's over in that part of the world. Okay. Now I can understand. The tw yeah, it takes 25 hours to get over there. I flew over to the Philippines. It took like 26 freaking hours um, and stuff. So um, I could see. Uh, uh, so it's in Ching, Chang Mai, Thailand. Thailand. Okay, he's over in Thailand. Okay. Which is um, over there in um, the Asia area. 
Yeah, I took um, a flying to Japan. It's a good uh, flight, and I'm trying to book a flight to go either next week or the week after to Thailand. Okay, that's good. That's good. Uh, you know, and um, your father recovering will be a lot better by the time you get there too. That's that's great news. So, um, yeah, it's it's hard to travel now. So um, we we we're, we're we're pulling for you as far as to get there, geez. Okay. And stuff, but uh, I'm, I'm sure you know that's really good news that he made it through, um, and everything is going good as far as that goes. So that's that's great because the procedure you were explaining is like, wow, that's uh, super serious as far as that goes. So um, thank you for sharing that for, um, and that's good news, very good news. I'm glad to hear that, and um, as far as that goes. Um, I do have a couple interesting articles, but I want to go over the history on this day, uh, some history, because it's been um, especially uh, something that happened a year ago that I've been following off and on and been talking about here. Um, we got some good history as far as that goes, and um, I, I'm not, I'll be posting up a YouTube of, uh, of uh, the event as far as that goes. Um, and... Um, Let's see. Uh, geez, I had the quarantine. I had the quarantine five days in Thailand. I have to quarantine. Okay, it's five days now. I can remember when uh, was it? Randy uh, W. Horton. He was going back to the Philippines. He had the quarantine for ten days. That's ridiculous. Five days. Uh, yeah, and that's going to be. That's rough. Yeah. Uh, Chris, technician. By the way, the weather is 26 degrees. Okay, 26 and now 58. Yeah, we hit a warm spell and we're going back cold. We're at 32 degrees thereabouts, 28 to 32 degrees, and um, and I just noticed we had we're going to have some snow next Thursday. So I'm going to be following that to see what type of you know. We just got the ice cleared. We got we got a lot of rain, so we we've got some some possible um, you know uh, the creeks are overflowing a little bit and stuff but uh, um, uh, and the Susquehanna is not that high yet so we'll just see it, it, but the rain yesterday did uh, slice through a lot of the leftover snow um, let's see one year ago today Perseverance the world's most sophisticated uh, extraterrestrial robot uh, bio, bio, bio biology lab landed on uh, Mars Landed in Mars, well, landed on Mars, but landed in Mars uh, J0 crater to continue uh, humanity's search for life beyond Earth. Launched on July 30th, the Perseverance, if it launched on July 30th, how can it be one year? One year ago today, person. Oh, it landed, okay, it landed, okay, it took a while for it to get there, okay. So July 30th, the Perseverance. Uh, previ uh, July 30th, the previous year, the rover touched down uh, while capturing first ever footage of a craft descending onto the red planet. The rover is equipped with a drilling arm that allows it to sample. So that doesn't make sense. If let's see, on July 30th. Launched on July 30th, the previous year. Okay, it was launched the previous year. Okay, I'm just trying to understand that um, that, that, that sentence. Um, the previous year, the rover, rover touched down while capturing... Okay, so it was a year ago it touched down after traveling. But the drilling arm um, that allows it to take it to sample rock, soil and rock, and uh, catch them in uh, sample tubes... And they had a little problem with that. I guess they had some some little pebbles that were preventing it from. Uh, they got mixed in that, that was jamming up the works there a little bit as far as the mechanics. Um, the sample tubes described as the cleanest place in the universe, so that any microbes found in the tubes may made of pure uh, sapphire glass can be clearly said to be Martian. After taking a variety of samples, um, it will leave them at a landing site where a future lander will take them back to the Earth. So I do have a, a rover. Uh, let's see, watch the rover's descent. Okay, we'll do, see that in the video. The video. I, so um, 
it's been a busy year for the rover which it has because i've been doing updates and i know um uh, what was it space gal who's here on twitch also she's been giving updates um it's um the rover uh, who has been taking incredible imagery and experience mal <laughs> experienced malfunctions which uh, and that was most recently drilled for samples recorded the, the sounds we've heard sounds from the Martian wind and more it's seen it's seen its friend the integrity Mars helicopter fly over 30 flights so I don't think they're flying that anymore uh, taking on board the rovers uh, underbelly and separated during uh, landing in integrity and in ingenuity the helicopter performed the first rotor power flight on Mars and they had some issues with that but they were able to troubleshoot it which was fascinating while generating useful data and awesome imagery as it conducts uh, short solar energy flights to scout for perseverance um, so far exploring the crater's floor the G0 crater an ancient dried up lake bed is now on the way to what would have been the lake's delta re delta region. Uh, deltas are freshwater ecosystems on Earth that teem with life and contain plenty of mud and other geological condition ideal for preserving signs of ancient life. Um, the rover will also ha uh, find time to test a pair of instruments which are designed to gather data on potential human habitat including a novel device that's designed to convert martian atmosphere for co2 into oxygen and uh, if they can scale that up we can uh, terra uh, form the, um, the martian surface and another and another to gather um, exquisitely precise data on barometric pressure dust size and shape humidity levels and the important information critical for designing spacesuits for space building. Uh, interesting Mars lovers lovers can follow along with the perseverance or with the perseverance log as crews as a crew share regular updates. And I look at that period because it's fascinating. We shouldn't forget our robot uh, friends that are up there on, on the Martian uh, um, the planet of Mars. Um, this day in history, the first Academy Awards winners were announced back in 1929, and um, we want to say a happy 67th birthday to John Travolta. I like John Travolta. John Travolta is a pretty good, cool guy. Even, you know, I didn't really, I liked, when it first came out, I got to be honest, I liked it, but I didn't, I didn't admit I liked it. I liked Saturday Night Fever. Uh, Grease was good. Um, I love the music from Grease. Pulp Fiction was scary. He, was, he acted, John, John Travolta acted in all these, uh, Get Shorty, Hairspray, Swordfish. Swordfish was pretty intense. Um, but he was born, um, 67, he was born back in 1954. So, um, happy birthday, John Travolta. Um, let's see, what else? California Supreme Court struck down the state's death penalty back in 1972. The Space Shuttle Enterprise, remember there was a space shuttle called Enterprise, never made it to space, but the test vehicle went on its maiden flight, perched atop a Boeing 747 back in 1977. That was the year I graduated high school. And um, I remember that watching that flight, that was pretty intrigued. The, the, actually, the Space Shuttle Enterprise is uh, smaller than the actual, uh, the rest of the shuttle, shuttle flight, or the shuttle fleet. Uh, let's see, on this date, back in 1979, and I vaguely remember the headline on this, snow fell in the Sahara Desert for the, for only the, for the only time in record recorded history with a snowstorm that lasted for 30 minutes. I remember seeing that on the front of Stars and Stripes when I was over in Italy. And on this day in 19, uh, let's see, 137 years ago, Mark Twain, who is one of my favorite authors, um, he, uh, Mark Twain's Adventures of Huckleberry Finn was first published in the United States. And uh, Mark Twain's uh, final resting spot is uh, is about, um, oh, maybe 15 miles west of here in Elmira. So, um, um, because I'm, I'm right in the middle between Binghamton and Elmira. So that's west there. Even though I'm pointing this way, it looks like I'm pointing to the east, right? That's west. 
depending on where you get your orientation. But that's West. Um, but um, Mark Twain is buried there in Elmira. Uh, the sequel to The Adventures of Tom Sawyer is uh, a, a scattering satire of entrenched attitudes, particularly racism. Yes, there is that in there, and um, was among the first novels in major American literature to be written fully in uh, uh, the regional uh, English that, that they, they did, uh, which made it controversial, especially in the 20th century because of the coarse language and use in ra you know, racial slurs that were thrown out all over the place. Now we're trying to be a little bit more respective. Uh, let's see, what else do we have here? Uh, I think that's about it. Um, Let's see, also 54 years ago, David Gilmore joined Pink Floyd, replacing a classmate who had checked himself into a psych ward. David Gilmore, he, he's, he's a, he's a freaking artist. Uh, let's see, uh, anything else going on? No, that's about it. So I'm going to have that, uh, that video of uh, relating to the uh, Perseverance descending and touching down on the Mars. Um, I'll be posting it right after I post uh, this, um, this broadcast on uh, the YouTube. I was thinking about, um, um, I've got this video footage because I guess you can present over on that other platform. And that other platform, I, I, I have done a few, uh, the last several days I, I put up some um, some uh, postings I guess you could say and uh, you can present and uh, I'm, I was thinking about presenting it here first and then present the broadcast over there but that's something I might do on the weekend because it's a little it takes a little time to do that um, but I have a um, I want to present because I um, I don't have it here but these jobbies right here these two batteries they, they go to uh, uh, this one is for the controller and this one's for the drone we talked about the uh, in ingenuity drone there for Mars I have a drone that um, with the nicer weather coming out I'm gonna probably start flying again and but I have an old footage of um, a four-point fly out out here and I want to present that I'll probably present that sometime uh, as an off broadcast not part of the morning broadcast um, because I'll probably be doing it. Uh, the, my schedule is going to be this week. I, I have a very short weekend. It's just Saturday. I'm off tomorrow and that's it. But I'm going to be busy most of uh, s tomorrow afternoon with some family matters and stuff like that. So I'll probably broadcast here for a little bit if I if I don't do my the the, the mixed cloud broadcast. Um, I'll probably do a, a broadcast before I go into uh, work Sunday. This Sunday. Um, um, I got to go in for uh, to cover a, a day shift slot as far as that goes and um, uh, it, so just to let you know if you don't see me I'm gonna have a busy weekend and stuff I may pop in here like I said in the morning time because that seems to be the the best time so far um, and then may, I don't know maybe I'll pop in I, I'm not sure you know it's uh, uh, just so you know if you don't see me this weekend everything's still doing okay okay I, I'm sure I'll broadcast Sunday morning before going into work don't forget this Monday is President yeah President's Day, which is um, uh, I guess the birthdays we celebrate. I'm, I have to work. I guess that's a I don't know. Do do I guess do schools take off for that day? And uh, um, let's see. Um, yeah, we got to get going and stuff. I'm I'm 35 minutes, so let's go ahead and cue the music. Thanks for the reminder, there, Chris. Um, let's see. I'll go with that one. Okay, folks, um, uh, and Chris coming in saying, have a great Friday. Yes, have a great Friday. You all have a great, thank you, Tina. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you, uh, uh, Chris. Thank you, Jeeves, and great. Thank you for sharing that, Jeeves, as far as your uh, uh, situation with your father and stuff. That's great. And thanks, Chow, and bye all, Tina says in the chat. And Chris coming in, and I forgot to say this, I think the last one says, as always, Bazenga. We always say Bazenga at the end of the broadcast also because, uh, you know, you have a Bazenga day, which is a good day, a positive day, a positive start to the day we're doing here, hashtag, hashtag PSTTD. So uh, thank you for all being here. And if you're watching this on the replay, thank you very much. It's 
greatly appreciated and uh, it means a lot so you guys all have a great one wherever you may be on this big blue marble uh, live life have fun ciao for now and as always peace take care folks